and we're live. Hey, the howdy howdy, and welcome back to another episode of Red Red Gaming. So we're back here once again in Minecraft. So um, we are on something a little bit different today. So the last few days, uh, Red and I have been doing a bit of building um, on a potential new project that we are working towards. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, but what we're actually going to do today is, as you can see here, I have started laying out some plans for a little town um, and figured, well, why not? I've got a couple of hours right now. It's a Monday. Let's build some of them um, and use it and make some content while we're at it. So um, I'm going to grab start by grabbing bits and pieces that we're going to use to build this place. Uh, we're going to go with um, oak wood. So we're in 117, which, yes, I know is weird for us, um, but it does open a lot of new textures for us, which is awesome. Um, so our building materials are going to be spruce. Uh, we're going to grab some oak wood as well. <coughs> hmm. Are we going to grab spruce? Spruce we're we going to use for our more upmarket areas. Um, actually, I think if I mix in the right amount of um, acacia, spruce should work. Right, let's go with oak and we'll stick with birch. Um, Birch kind of really worked um, in this this build, so we'll see if it works for these guys. So um, I'm going to start probably with the hardest two um, in this area. Let's knock down another acacia tree. Um, so pretty straightforward. So it's one, two, three. Just starting with fours, right? One, two, two, and then yeah, cross beam. Four. Go up one, two, three, four. And then we'll put in our cross beam. Like so. Um, grab the opposing corner. So bring this across here. So it's a pretty um, simple sort of theming we're going with. We're going with sort of. Uh, now, let me see if I can get this correct. Turn of the century, um, Vic medieval Victorian. Um, so anything from your standard minecraft esque medieval sort of builds, um, going up into the Victorian, which is sort of more the style we've got here. Um, and we are going as far as accepting Elizabethan as part of Victorian. Um, and that's just a... Um, I don't know what to call it. Um, so we come up two, three, four, four, and five. Feels right. Um, up here, like a deso. Now, sort of end up building in two kind of ways um, in these builds. Um, so, as you can see, the interior is not 
terribly large. So resetting um, the walls in by a block um, makes it, well, very tight on face, which will make it harder to theme later on. So what I've been trying to do is um, detail it on the output. Let me show you, well, actually, this is a pretty good example of what I mean. So instead of um, recessing in like this, so you've got the hills on the outside of your building and that, that gives you the space, but you've actually got to make it, you know, almost twice as big to be able to get your interior space. Um, I've been doing it flush and then adding external detail. So bringing the roof in front of it and then putting these like windowsill bits in, using the thing the half of the, the the plate glass sort of windows, that sort of stuff, just to sort of take as much advantage of the space as possible. So we're going to try that here. And so uh, we're going to use on the bottom. We could use stone bricks, but that's going to mean a lot of stone bricks. We're going to use stone bricks for the arch, which is this sort of orange section. Actually, we can probably build that first. Um, that we grab ourselves a stone brick, making sure not to grab the infected, infested stone bricks. We'll grab ourselves some stone brick stairs, and we'll grab some slabs while we're here. So this will come through at about that height. It will come through at about that height, but I was hoping to do was do this. <coughs> uh oh. The pattern ended up one higher. Two, three, four, number five. Two, three. Or, uh, oh, get up. Be really careful not to do be the uh, you need some verb theme song or something. Yeah. Um, and then we'll bring another one across. As much as I was thinking about putting like timber in the middle here, I think would better to go with this. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put in a section of path here. Looks about there. Um, now, for those of you who are regulars, you'll know that it's very not very often that I do that. Um, this is one of those exceptions. All right. Servers. We are doing a lot in a very short time, so we are using World Edit at the moment. Um, pull out this orange stuff here. Sweet. Got our idea. <coughs> Oops. Yeah, one here. Which actually helps us out because that reveals our timber pillars a bit better. Yeah, 
there's that. Now we need to get our shape. So three, one, two, three. So you will be the center. Hmm, this is the part where I always struggle, making a nice healing arch to walk through that is still, like, thick enough that if it was real, people would actually use it. Um, and I guess that's, you know, the typical us reading too much into the story of our build. Before we actually build it. Um, and we are quite bad at that. Or when it comes to that. Boop, boop, boop. Step, step. Something like that. Yes. Not entirely like sold on the shape, but it's a good starting point. Um, yeah, I'm really not sold on the shape. I mean, it's better. Okay, so we'll get that one out. So we'll fall in there. Oops. I'm gonna go with that for the time being. Across here. Cool. These go up another five. So one, two, three, four, five. It's across. Now we haven't decided fully like what this is gonna be, but I know the bottom floor on the large side of this one is going to be a shop. Um, the top floor is going to be a house. Um, and that's about it. Okay, so now comes the hard part. Um, gonna start. That is the wrong way for that texture. It's way. No, it is vertical. I'm using these blocks instead of just straight logs because I want to be able to punch the windows out. And if I grab a spruce for the roof, so I need a spruce slab. If I do that, 
and grab these guys and do something like that, which sort of adds a little bit of depth to the exterior of the building. So I'm going to do the same in this nook here. Punch out those three, put in the same type of window. Cool. Down here, you're going to be the entry to this door. And that's as far as I've thought it through. <laughs> um, Door. So I do want plenty of light in the building. It's I'm gonna I guess we could do that. Reset this section of wall. At least two sections of wall. Because we do gain this internal section an extra block. This one wouldn't matter because you're pretty much flush up against. Um, another building. It really does make that end of the building really thin. Also, wow, did I place that poorly. It's a bit thin. We're going to do that, but that's all right, and then we'll make that like that because it doesn't matter. Cool. Um, at this point, it, it really just needs. Something like that. Now, um, next challenge. Uh, flooring in here, that's all right. Um, quite the walkway through here. Yeah, and that's up against another building, but this wall here actually has some frontage. Okay, this is effectively going to be an entryway, so I can afford to lose some ground. Something like that.
kill, and after all that, we really didn't gain a whole lot. We came to one window. Um, we could put in a high window along there, which will give us some light. Do like a shade cover. Yeah, that works. Might as well do the same in here. Give this light down in there, and then the staircase will bring us up into the top area. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, I don't want to do this, but it'll actually work in this case. So, like, what? I don't know what happened there. And I wanted oak anyway. Whoops. That I would normally do these in half slabs with like a uh, upside down stairs around the borders, but downstairs just doesn't need detector. Um, and what we'll do check and see if the spacing is correct. Run this across like so. Zada. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Or not three, but that's fine. You know what I could do? We could make this a tavern of sorts with this then turning into three guest bedrooms. And this could be a storeroom. Yeah. Or we could just make it part of the... Uh, Make a good little house. Okay, let's start on the other side and get it. Um, built or similar like. Really kind of like the idea of that, that have an idea. Hmm. 
just uh -oh. uh there uh So that does that. <clears throat> it's just that flooring. Then, hmm. Okay, no, that um comes exactly the same. So if I go there to there. Did I do that dark oak? This is birch, isn't it? Much better. Sometimes it really just is easier. Do it manually. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we're going to end up doing the same up here. Five. I like that end of that one, two, one bigger. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why did you end up six? Stuffed up there somehow. Um, okay, so that becomes two very, very similar sections of building. Let's see what we can do with the interiors here. Um, there's some oak stairs, some of those, and we already had those, but anyway. Um, I'm 
mana because we're using the full block. Pause. Done. Problem solved. Let's put print. Cool. Um, then if we're going to make a door, we will put our bench in here. There's a bench. Okay. Feels too small. I'm gonna make it a tavern. Yeah, that works. Okay. A little. Put a smoke green for now, and we'll call that our kitchen. Done. Uh, we get our counter here. Doing a little bit more of the roof into a floor. Like that. Sit down and have a look at it. Come along. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go with that out here Not on this one here too. Um, so downstairs, we come in. There's our bar. Um, I'll just put these in as placeholders. Put some like tables and chairs and stuff. Obviously, in a different. Texture, um, oof, that window, a little unfortunate, but not a lot we can do about it. Just going to aim in this one. Yep. Um, fill this in. a lot of the same on this build so far. We do over here. Flat half window. Uh, if we try that. It doesn't look horrible. It does kind of work. Cool, so we'll do that and then.
window there. Turn that window high because, well, even sitting in tavern, you don't really want to just see the building beside you. Um, get this right. And this deck. Onto which we will put a triangular plant roof, which is really hard to build without these two walls in. However, it will cause. Uh, we'll make that roof, those walls a little more difficult to put a um, a window in. So, what color are we going to do the roof of this in? I'm thinking slabs. Do we want timber? We got purple and we got a blue. Let's go with the blue. Middle class blue. Um I like that better. Cool. There's that. We didn't go as high as I thought we might, so we can still put in like a two piece window in each of these walls. Even better. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, cool. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where that is, but we're getting somewhere. Um I guess having done that now, the oops. Next step is actually to Grab that. Grab that. Grab. That. Sorry, I had to actually think. Um, grab that and that. That. <clears throat> cool. So let's get a roof line worked out. We go with our one, two steps. Um, that. Oh, I did that wrong. In slab up there, go step, step, flat. 
something like that. And then that comes with slab on the top there. Need to bring it. This is where it gets tricky. And the whole roof is going to end up having to be the same coloring for the two parts of the, for the two buildings. This one is going to be a little trickier to roof, shape wise, but we can make it work. We've, we've done worse. Um, so, just carry this roof back. Do the four blocks because. Give us our basic outline anyway. Uh, apologies if you are live, um, or if you're chat in chat with it. Why did I do that? The wrong material for there anyway. Just wanted to get these. <laughs> um, unfortunately, no, we are not actually monitoring chat at the moment. Um, and apologies for that. Um. This is the part that's going to be tricky. Sorry, I'm distracting myself. Here, yeah. that's why this is backwards. Why does this look wrong? And that, there, and there, that, that, and that, up and up. Okay. Actually, tear all of this back out because we did it in the wrong material. Which is at the worst possible time. I trapped myself, but I didn't actually trap myself. Um,
make those a little bit less prominent. I'll play with that later though. Okay, Do that, something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's one of the roofs. Um, we just quickly check the time. You're supposed to be a little bit on the left before I get on the way. Um, and bring this up like this. So, it's a nice roof. If I just do that, go boop, boop. Makes more sense. Yep, so we'll fill the rest of these in. Like so, then that's going to be a single story. That's going to be double stories. So this needs to be windowed. One of these. Not sure about those anymore. I don't know. We'll come back to it. Need glass in that. We'll do the same for this one here. Oh, why I didn't get them on. Not done. This is a nice looking wall. This one here. So, um, I was going to turn this into a house. Now, I'm not entirely sure.
thinking um, some rooms as part of the um, tavern over there. And give us, I mean, we can make this into three rooms. Uh, be a nice material. You could use wood. Wood would, wood would, wood would make sense. Um, actually, wood makes the most sense for the era. The problem. Okay. Grab some birch. Oh, we don't actually get three rooms. We get two rooms. Unless we do some bupunkery here. I want a birch door. Kind of works. We'll make it work. Um, I'm not going to worry about this section roof today. Um, but what I am going to do here. No. So it's going to be. Sort of roof. Keep it nice and short. Short as in height. Um, because it's just too thick for me to want to take it higher. Yeah, we'll do that. That made it easier than I thought. The light. Yeah. Good day. That's going to be. I mean, I'm guessing here, but most likely going to be like that.
Yep, you know how I said I wasn't going to worry about the roof? Here I am, worrying about the roof. I'm just going to go tall. Well, if I can think of a way to... One, and that one. Unless I can think of a way to stubby it a bit. Like my chances there. Something like that, I'm thinking. But anyway, um, that's sort of going to be it for today. Um, we'll pull these and swap them out for those. Pull these and swap them out for those. Um, all on every side that we don't want them. I don't know what we're going to do on the back wall here yet. Um, I don't know how big that building. You know what? Let's get. locks in above the doorway here. And yeah. Bring it up to here just to be as I can make myself. Cool. So that is going to be where we leave it for today because I actually need to run. So nice little hour stream. We've got ourselves... Let me clear this acacia. Um, we've got ourselves a nice couple of shops here with a, well, a shop we could have anything on one side, a nice little walk, walk over, fly, it's a flyover, but it's a walk over. Um, the roof on the right hand side is going to be really actually quite hefty. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not, but yeah, we'll go from there. Um, but on that note, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I would expect we're hey going to have quite a bit video. more of this coming up. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give us a big so thumbs up down the bottom there. If you did enjoy the video, we'll stay tuned Facebook, for some more Instagram, content coming out shortly. Hit subscribe and we'll see you next time here which on Red Room Game. Any second now, there it is, uh, for more shenanigans. We're sort of streaming as we're building, so yeah, check us out over there. Uh, in the meantime, bye guys.